do you guys remember a video that I did about um, three to four months ago about the Jamaican who was the victim of modern day lynching? His name is Peter Spencer. So um, I'm seeing this update and I, I'm just getting more information. So on the shade room, they posted the following. So they're saying that Peter Spencer, a Jamaican immigrant, went on a cabin trip in the woods with his wife, with his white, sorry, co-workers, and wound up dead after being shot nine times. No, um, let's pause a little bit. So Peter was shot twice in the buttocks. He was shot four times in the abdomen. He was shot in the head. He was shot in the neck. No, what they're saying is that the co-workers claimed he got aggressive and was shot in self-defense. Two times in the buttocks, four times in, in the abdomen, one time in the head, one time in, in the neck. So they're saying that he got shot nine times. There was also shot in his back. So it seemed as though this guy was terrified he was running away. He was running for his life. How do you shot someone nine times and they were the aggressor? Why did he get aggressive? No, um, Peter Spencer's fiance, she's not buying it. A black man went on a cabin trip with his white coworkers. You would never expect him to be murdered. And he didn't make it out alive. His family now calling his death a modern day lynching. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. On December 12th, 2021, Peter Spencer, who's a Jamaican immigrant but called Pittsburgh home, he was invited to a white co-worker's hunting cabin in Venango County, Pennsylvania. It's some 85 miles outside of Pittsburgh. His fiance, Carmela King, says she dropped him off and then she started to get suspicious when his text messages started slowing down. Then he stopped responding altogether. He texted me, um, hey, I'm just gonna stay, stay the night. And um, then he texted me and said, just come in the morning. And I was like, okay. King then texted him, I love you. And then I didn't hear from him for the rest of, you know, I never, I never heard back from him. She got in her car the next morning. I just had a hunch to drive up there. And I drove up there. Um, and a few moments before I got onto the road, his mom called and said he was, he's been shot. He'd been shot nine times. The autopsy so graphic that we have to blur them. According to the coroner, Spencer was shot once in the mouth, twice in the buttocks, and six times in the abdomen or chest. His dead body laid out on the front yard when his fiance arrived. And on the property, signs that read, quote, warning, we don't call 911, with a gun pictured. Another sign that says, quote, you're on camera, look up. A surveillance camera seen from an upstairs window. Pennsylvania State Police Corporal Aaron Allen could not comment on whether video evidence has been collected, but he does say that he was called to oversee this case. He's with the Heritage Affairs Department. He handles hate crimes and bias related incidents for state police in the Pittsburgh region. People are frustrated. So what do we know? What do you know about this? Sure. We know that the incident happened and there have been uh, a, a, a slew of things that have uh, been under investigation. Our uh, criminal investigation unit has been working uh, tirelessly uh, for this investigation, making sure the proper things are being done. What was the um, communication like with police thereafter? There, it was uh, slim to numb that it was just self-defense. You know, they just said, oh, it was a gathering here. And they said he was the aggressor and they felt frightened and somebody shot him. What is this coworker? Have you met this coworker before? Where did they work? Yeah, I met him several times. He's come down to um, Peter's house. You know, Peter cooks Jamaican food every Friday. So he would come down and get food off of him. Sources have identified the coworker as a Nathan Myers, whose family owns the property. A reporter from the local news affiliate WTAE actually went to his family's house. His grandmother was home and would not comment. According to a statement, though, from Pennsylvania State Police, they found multiple firearms, ballistic evidence, and controlled substances at that cabin. 
Police say a 25 year old suspect and three others were identified, detained and questioned, but all of them were quote, released after consultation with the Venango County District Attorney's Office. To this day, no charges have been filed. Paul Jubis is the Spencer family's attorney. The idea that there was no charges with drugs and guns in a situation with, with a, a dead body with nine bullet holes in it, it doesn't make a lick of sense. The family is also working with renowned forensic pathologist, Dr. Sarah Wecht, who told Black News Channel that Spencer's wounds are consistent with someone who got hunted down. I think he was running away and uh, one or more people shot him as he was running. That is what would fit in because the shots look like they were fired from a distance. They're refusing to share autopsy photos so that our medical examiner can do his work. You know, we're going to approach this at this point with absolute skepticism and when the time comes, aggression. The case now sparking nationwide outrage. What has happened to our brother? His blood keeps crying out to us. Faith leaders and supporters now calling this a modern day lynching in a county where less than 2% of the population is black. I'm just letting God be my comforter and I, I'm gonna keep pushing until the, until the day he gets justice. Carmela is expected to give birth to her and Peter's baby in June. Meanwhile, the family's attorney says that he wants the district attorney, Sean White, off the case and now hands it over to the attorney general's office. Sean White's office did release a statement saying in part, quote, that they take this seriously, any possibility that a crime may be fueled by hatred toward a person because their race, color, religion, or national origin. Rest assured, the office will take every measure to ensure that justice is sought wherever it may be found. He expects that full report of this investigation to be completed in four to six weeks. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter.